welcome to this morning's Walk of Fame ceremony presented by the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce and the Hollywood Historic Trust. I am Laurent Gubler, President and CEO of the Chamber. Now, as you can see, we have one of the most enthusiastic crowds we've ever had. We're delighted to have you. I understand people have come from all around the world for today's ceremony. And let me tell you, we are delighted to be able to honor one of the music world's most popular boy bands. As they are honored with the 2,495th star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Today, Hollywood honors the Backstreet Boys. And let me just say who they are, and you can cheer for each of them. They include A.J. McLean, Brian Luttrell, Howie DeRoe, Kevin Richardson, and Nick Carter. All right. Now, this multi-platinum pop powerhouse, which initially formed in 1993, has and uh, how many of you were there in 1993? All right. They've solidified themselves as the biggest and best-selling boy band in history. And here are some of, their, some of their major achievements, and you can cheer for each of them. Their sales have exceeded more than 130 million albums. They are one of the only music artists to release seven consecutive albums in the top 10 of the Billboard 200. They gained superstar status with the release of their 1997 album, Backstreet Boys. Their end of the century release, Millennium, set the record for first week sales in the U.S. moving 1.1 million albums in seven days. Their first album of the new century, Black and Blue, topped their previous record and sold more than 1.6 million copies in a single week. In 2005, they released Never Gone, which went platinum. And their hit songs include such songs as Quit Playing Games With My Heart, I Want It That Way, Everybody Backstreet's Back, As Long As You Love Me, and many, many more. Two other albums, Unbreakable and This Is Us, both debuted in the top 10 on the Billboard 200. And Finally, this year marks the band's 20th anniversary. So now, please help me welcome to the stage the Backstreet Boys. Now, you're going to get to hear from our honorees, but we have some special guests first. Now, listen to this. Our first speaker today, our first speaker today was chosen on behalf of all the fans worldwide. So, she is a very lucky person. Please welcome Lori Miono to the stage. Every now and then, if you're lucky, you meet someone who makes your day just a little bit brighter, your world just a little bit sweeter, and your smile just a little bit bigger. Us Backstreet Boys fans are especially lucky because we don't have one person who does that for us. We have five. And they've been inspiring us while simultaneously revolutionizing pop music for the past 20 years. For me personally, these five incredibly talented men have laid the soundtrack for my most memorable moments. I remember going to their autograph signing at Tower Records in Torrance when I was 11 years old. Being in their video for I Want It That Way at 13, 
and even going to a concert in Australia at 27 with friends because we simply couldn't get enough. From braces to bridal showers and happy meals to heartbreaks, the Baxter Boys have consistently been there through it all. 16 years after their music found me, I'm proud to still be here supporting them. These boys deserve all the success and respect they've worked so hard for. Fans fully recognize this, and it's about time the world does too. Congratulations on your star boys. Thank you, Lori. I think you did a pretty good job representing the fans. What do you think? Let me acknowledge the chairman of the Walk of Fame committee that selected the Backstreet Boys. Please acknowledge David Green. Now, our next speaker is music producer Max Martin. I can see Max has a lot of fans. He wrote, co-wrote, and co-produced seven out of the 12 songs on the album Millennium, including, including all of the singles. I Want It That Way became the group's biggest single to date, and it was voted number 10 in the MTV Rolling Stones list of the 100 greatest pop songs. He also worked with top music stars, including Britney Spears, Celine Dion, Kelly Clarkson, Pink, Katy Perry, Christina Aguilera, and many others. Please welcome Max Martin. Thank you. I can't believe this. I met these guys in Sweden, <clears throat> Stockholm, in the mid-90s. Um, they were coming out to record with my mentor and friend, Dennis Pop, who's no longer with us. Rest in peace. Um, I didn't know much about them. I've seen some clips on VHS and stuff like that. <laughs> so I told them, we took them out to dinner, and I told them, you know, it's going to be exciting to hear you sing, finally, you know, in the studio later tonight. They're like, oh, we'll perform right now. <laughs> so they stand up. Do you remember this? Yeah. <laughs> in this kind of hipster place, this restaurant, with caps and backpacks and, you know, and, uh, and they sing for the place. I'll never break your heart. Right? And, um... I got the goosebumps, it was, uh, it was amazing. And a lot of things changed after that night. Uh, for me, I was, you know, we, we, we got to go along with you on a ride around the world, amazing ride in music. Uh, a lot of things have changed, you now have babies, you're married. <laughs> Some things haven't changed. You look the same. It's actually amazing, and not that you know, weird in this part of the world, but still. <laughs> Worth mentioning, and... Um... <laughs> Another thing that hasn't changed, uh, we were in the studio a few weeks ago uh, recording a song, and uh, when these guys started to sing, I still got the goosebumps. They're simply amazing. So, when I got the, the, the question to come here to speak today, I want to take the, I felt that this is one more, one more moment, my opportunity to say thank you to you guys, because you changed my life. And I'm going to use an ABBA, ABBA quote, I can do that because I'm Swedish. <laughs> and Swedes can do that whenever they want, you know. Thank you for the music. Go back to both. All right. Thank you, Max. Now, the city of Los Angeles actually owns the Walk of Fame, and our city council has passed a resolution on, for each of our honorees, and we have a resolution to pre present to you on behalf of the city. Okay, so they're going to open that up, and we're stand, if you can, stand over there so the press can get a photo. Over here. This one. All right. All right. 
right. Okay. Well, it's time to hear from our honorees, but before you hear from them, let me just say in memory of our late honorary mayor, Johnny Grant, we hereby declare this Backstreet Boys Day in Hollywood. Wow, um, they picked me to go first, great. Um, usually I'm a, I'm a man of many, many words as these guys can contest to. So um, first and foremost, I wanna thank all of you, the fans, um, for, for personally allowing me to fulfill a dream that I never thought was possible and for 20 amazing years and 20, 30, 40 more to come. Um, I also want to thank Howie, Brian, Nick, and my big brother Kev. I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> um, I love you guys, and aside from my wedding day and the birth of my daughter, this is hands down the best day of my life. So. Thank you all, and Max, Max, thank you, and thank you, Dennis Pop. I know you're looking down on us every day, keeping an eye on Max. Somebody has to. We can't. And again, thank you guys so much. God bless you. So, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make this quick. Um, we got chosen in alphabetical order so we wouldn't fight over this, okay? So, A, B, you know, it goes down the line. Um, first and foremost, I have to thank God. He takes top billing in my life. Secondly, um, woo <laughs> secondly to my wife, um, she, stop it! Um, she is, she is my strength and my courage when, when I had nothing to give. So thank you, baby. Um, to, to my son, um, dreams, woo -hoo! Um, dreams come true, bub. If you work hard, and you persevere, you can, you can do things like this. Uh, and if you grow up and work for the LAPD, which I thank, that's great too, buddy. Um, and I, I, wanna take, I wanna take a second to thank my family that's here. Um, there's also family on the East Coast that didn't make the trip. I love you, thank you for loving me back, and thank you for being patient with me. I appreciate that. Um, to the fans, you guys are fantastic. Um, we would not be here without you. Um, and I guess, last but not least, I've, I've worked my entire life to never be walked on, but I'm okay with this one. Thank you. Today is definitely a day I can say a dream's come true. For us, as the Backstreet Boys, to be honored here, to be put in stone next to the Osmond family, next to boys to men. This is something to me that I know we've made a mark in history. And knowing now that I will be able to one day bring my family here, my, family, my kids will be able to bring their kids here and still be able to see the legacy that Backstreet Boys have carried on for many years. I want to thank God, our family, my beautiful wife who, who surprised me today by flying in. Got here. Got here 20 minutes ago. Totally brought tears to my eyes. All my family and friends, all of those who are, who are, here, who are here with us, 
and those who couldn't be here with us, all of the crew behind us, management, unbelievable management company that we have right now, um, also Jive Records, uh, all the staff that's been behind us for the past 20 years. And first and foremost, you guys, the fans. Because you guys are truly the heart and soul of the Backstreet Boys, and you definitely keep the Backstreet pride alive, that's for sure. Thank you. Uh, I want to thank Laron and the Chamber, the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce, first of all, and the LAPD for shutting down the street, keeping us all safe. And thank you for honoring us today. Uh, what an honor it is. What a beautiful way. <laughs> what a beautiful day. What another beautiful way to celebrate 20 years together. And there's, there's been so many people that have uh, supported us, guided us, nurtured us, inspired us, helped us along the way. Howie's mentioned a few. Uh, so many to name. I don't know if I should start naming names or just, or just be general, but I, there is... One, uh, one person I want to start off with, uh, a guy, a record exec that believed in us, the first guy, the first record exec to ever believe in us when nobody else did, and that was David McPherson, who took us to Jive Records. We got our record deal there. Um, I want to thank Lori and Max for speaking today. Um, I couldn't think of a more perfect way to begin this ceremony than with one of our fans, a representative of you who we've touched through our music and through music, and then a guy that set it all off and has made the whole world sing with us, and, and that's Max. And, and we're especially honored to have him here today because he hates public appearances. He, like, he likes to just hide in the studio and make amazing records. Um, I want to thank some of our support staff, our management at Prospect Park, everybody there for working hard and, and busting their tails for us. Uh, uh, Jen, Jeff, Pete, Melissa, everybody over there. Uh, Jordan Keller, our, our counsel who has been with us through a lot uh, when, uh, when times were good and times were bad, helped us keep things in perspective from a legal standpoint. Uh, and uh, I want to thank each of these guys. Uh, who would have thought that 20 years ago, when we began this journey together, that this would be a stop along the way. Like how he's saying right down there next to Boys to Men, the first time the five of us sang together, it was a Boys to Men song. We picked out those harmonies and that was it. it we were on. Um, thank you. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap this thing up. Uh, last but certainly not least, my family, my family and friends, um, my best friends here today. We wrote our first song together when we were 13 years old, uh, and he's been he's been with me through this whole ride and kept me grounded when, uh, when my head swelled up too big. Uh, my brothers, Gerald and Tim, who are back home, who are not here today, who, when I was a little brat, kept me in check. My mother, Ann, uh, for always singing to me and uh, giving me the love of music. 
right from an early age, singing in the car on the way to church. My wife and my son. I fell in love with my wife 21 years ago. Before I met these fellas, I, uh, she loved me when I was a Ninja Turtle at Walt Disney World. And she has lifted me up and supported me this whole time and put up with me. She's put up with me, too. Amen, Christian. <laughs> they know. They know. And my, my son, who inspires me and teaches me every day, I love you guys so much. And, and my father that's looking down very proud right now. Who taught me that it is masculine to move smooth and sing from your heart. And thank you to all of you who came here today. We love you. This is for you. We wouldn't be here without you. So thank you. I don't know if I'm going to cry. I don't want to disappoint you. I think this is more excitement than anything for me. Excited. Optimistic about our future. You know, I thought about, I was thinking about a speech and what I could actually say to you guys to, to maybe not necessarily top what everyone else has done, because that's not what this is about. But when, when I was a really young young boy, I first came to Hollywood before I had met the guys, and it was, uh, I don't know, maybe seven or eight years old, and hopped on a plane with my mother. We had dreams of, you know, thinking I was going to be Leonardo DiCaprio, but that didn't work out. <laughs> but, <laughs> but um, we came here, and I remember driving on this boulevard, down Hollywood Boulevard, and I think we stopped, and we, we checked out the stars, and, and I remember being a little afraid because I would see uh, there was people walking on the side of the street talking to themselves, <laughs> looking up in the air and talking to themselves. And I'm, and I'm like, oh, that's a little scary, uh, you know. But I guess what I'm trying to say is that I never, ever imagined in a... <laughs> <laughs> I never imagined in a million years that we would be, that I would be a part of this. At that moment, I didn't, I didn't imagine it. I didn't know it was even possible at such a young age. But now we're here. You know, we're still here. And I just, I, I want to thank everybody in general for sticking with us throughout the years through the ups and the downs, you know, the roller coaster ride that we put you on. I'm sorry about some of it. <laughs> um, but I guess I wanted to just cap it off by saying I encourage everyone here to let the world know at this very moment, go home and let the, know, know, let the world know that Backstreet is back. And we aren't going anywhere. I love you guys. Thank you very much. All right, it's time to unveil the star.
Ladies and gentlemen, we proudly welcome to the Hollywood Walk of Fame the Backstreet Boys. Yeah, we are. Yeah. 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 Y
Just a pile of them. Rick's butter for the right there. That's it. Thank That's three. Okay, right here, guys. Right here in the middle. Can we get one without one?